Hi everyone, it's the 8th of October and it's Wednesday evening. It's actually uh, just gone 9.30 according to my clock up there. And I thought it's about time I got my butt into gear and uh, start taking a few bits and bobs out of this and getting the new stuff put in it. Uh, I was actually going to take everything out of this first but I thought eh, what I really need to swap is the motherboard and the hard drives. The power supply is fine, the fans are fine, they can stay put. I'm just going to unplug this cable though out of the way. So I just thought, you know, go for it as it is. And uh, perhaps I'd just have a general chit chat as I go along. Right, so let's get cracking. I'm hoping this power supply has actually got some SAR connectors on it. I'm going to need at least two. If not, I may have to swap the power supply. I'm hoping I don't, but if I have to, I have to. Anyway, so I've not been up to a great deal really. Uh, tractor's progressing nicely at a steady pace, which is good. Uh, what have we done to that? I think I've already told in a previous video it runs and drives now. Thing about this is, not I can just drop that out of the way. What's this? Oh, that's for the front USB, I think. Pretty certain that's what that's for. Well, it might not be actually. Front audio. No, it is for the top USB. What that for? Have I got a card reader installed on this? Did I install one on this? I did, that's what that's for. Okay. It's been a while since I've actually looked in this, so I couldn't remember what, I, what I've done, what I have done. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah. We have a hood for the tractor. We have the foot plates now, so it makes life a lot easier getting on and off that tractor. Uh, what else did he buy? We've got the um, lifting arm that we needed. The um, adjustable one. He actually bought a brand new one. I didn't know you could still get things like that for these old tractors. but So it's looking a bit out of place because we've got a nice new adjustable lifting arm on one side. I wish whatever is tickling my friggin' nostril would bugger off. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, we've got a nice new lifting arm on one side, the adjustable one. We've got a nice new one in the middle, and then the old original one on the other side. And we, that forced us to get it off as well, that adjustable one. We needed the adjustable one because it snapped. It snapped on us not long after we got it, actually. Um, so that's sort of been in the works for a while. Oh my bloody nose. I do apologise for keep going like that with my nose, but there's something really irritating my nose. My sinuses have been a pain the last few days. I actually make that the last week. And the nostril that's irritated is also rather sore as well. this. I'm taking it out of this one first so I can literally take it straight out of the other case and put it in here. That's the general plan anyway. Alright. I'm sure he bought some other bits for that tractor as well and I can't remember at the minute what they were. Anyway, it's, it's getting there, considering we pretty much just started with a chassis, we didn't have a lot to go with, you know. Most of the parts had been um, pilfered off of it or were knackered. 
um, the rear fenders shot, for example. Um, three of the four wheels were shot. So that one's taking the stand off with it. Bastard. Uh, what else? Most of the engine was missing, you know. There was no star, there was no coil, there was no distributor. Um, oh, both of those standoffs have come with it. There's just pretty much nothing. It was just the engine block and the generator. I know what I've got. What's wrong with this? Right, sorry for that pause, but uh, I think I've got rid of the problem. <laughs> Thought I'd do that off camera. Uh, what am I looking for? I need something like a little pair of pliers, which I had here the other day. Um, they are going to be in my little tool kit, aren't they? That I put together. Yep. Um, not the best thing to do with a motherboard. You don't want to uh, toss it around like this if you can help it. Uh, we still need two back tyres, just the ones that came with the replacement wheels are shot, but they're, they're good enough to roll it around on and you know just move it around so we can worry about getting some tyres later. He has also joined the Ferguson Owners Club. Uh, they can help. Well, in fact, they do most of the donkey work, if you like, at getting it re-registered because we haven't got a number plate with it. So, uh, unlike when I bought my moped, I could just take down the um, chassis number, the registration number, and basically send it off to the DVLA with one of their V5 application forms. Because the tractor doesn't have the number plate, we couldn't do that, so... It's got to be registered basically from scratch. Um, re-registered. But apparently it does give us the um, original style of number plate, the black and white number plate. Which would be good. Double check my rules actually. Bear with me just a minute. Uh, pair of pliers in there that are not supposed to be in that drawer. I'm looking for a brush, that's what I'm looking for because uh, this is going to need, I think it's an L. Have a look in a minute. This one's a smaller case, so I'm going to lay it down. We'll watch power supplies that up there. Do I? Uh, I'm this one hasn't got any SATA connectors, has it? <laughs> oh, it has, but guess what? It's broken. <laughs> and it's only got the one. Right. Okay, we'll get the motherboard in for now then. And I'll worry about a power supply later, because I actually don't think this one's going to be much use either. To be brutally honest, let's just try and get that up there. Alright. So glad I actually came across this case now. Because I wanted to build a nice Windows XP era gaming rig. And ideally I wanted, 
you know, a DDR2 machine for that. But I didn't have anything suitable at the time. Which is why I had that DDR1 board in it. And I was going to set up, you know, as a, an old school DDR1 XP machine. However, I saw this one in that garden and got my balls together to go and ask and got it and it turns out it works. So I'm just going to literally transplant this motherboard and this hard drive into that and then I'm going to grab another hard drive from over there from my cupboard of bits. Alright, one. An IDE optical drive is absolutely fine for this. I barely ever use them on a modern PC and I, I don't really think it needs a SATA one for this. I don't know, I don't think it'll make much difference anyway. One down there as well. Alright, I think what I will do in a moment, once I've just extracted the parts I want from this, so I think this has only got the one side connector on it as well, and I don't have any adapter cables like this to plug onto the Molexes. I've actually completely out. Uh, my brother had the last one for um, a build he was doing for a friend of his. Actually, I'm not sure he used it, to be honest, but they're cheap enough to buy anyway. I the 12 yeah, you can see why I'm going to dust this out, can't you? And I'm going to sort this out as well. Oh, and I can show you that better now it's out of the case, can't I? Right, get rid of that. Oh, I see. I don't know why. So, I could have, surely that could have just been plugged straight on. I'll sort that out. See, I don't know how they've managed to do it. These long screws go in there, you see. Um, they're supposed to go through the top bit. That's why that's not held on properly. So I think I am going to pause in a moment where I've just got the hard drive out um, and just sort that out, clean it all up and uh, turn it back on when I'm ready to put everything back in here. Mm. I was going to change the SATA cable, but this machine seems to work fine with that one, so don't fix what ain't broken. Right. There we go. One Max Tora hard drive. Don't need the fan, I don't need the optical drives. I haven't got a use for that power supply. That's the other thing I'll find up as well, so I'll find a a much more suitable power supply. Um, I could go for a 400 watt minimum, I think I've got one of those down here in the cupboard. But I don't really want to go any lower than that. Anywho, I'm going to pause you while I get all of this sorted and all the parts ready to go into there and I'll be back. Okie dokie, I think I'm ready. Got myself a drink while I'm at it. Um, took the heat sink off and gave this a good clean. That was absolutely caked in dust. Um, had to find some longer screws to put the fan back on. I can see why they um, put the screws in that the way they did now. Um, but I thought while I was at it, and this was off, I'll clean off the processor and whatnot and uh, just put a blob of fresh thermal paste on it. It's an AMD processor. It's quite an old processor, 2001. This board is not 2001. <laughs> um, get the end of this, I think. 
I'm going to have to get another couple of tubes of this stuff. This put back. I think this might have been some or stored somewhere a little damp. Look at that. Clip was all rusty. This was even um, caked in fluff and dust as well. Actually, there was that much fluff in this. I have been wondering if they've got pets. Not that that bothers me. Alright, now we need to get the fan on. And I've also stolen the um, guard off of another one as well. Same one I found the screws in. So I'm hoping... in but I'm not sure they're gonna go in deep enough to bite deep enough they're not so unfortunately the griddle's gotta go that's a shame I want the guard on it boom oh well can't have everything use the right screws. Right. Whoops. Put that through there, right? I found power supply as well. It's got an even number of um, Molex and SARTs on it, so it's got three of each. I only need two SARS for this build, so. Now, I don't know why, but they had the fan on this setup, so it's had that with the sense wire there, but this has actually got three wires on it. So, I can go straight to the motherboard like that. I don't know why they put it on in the configuration that they did, excuse me one moment. I need is this one open? It is open. I'm gonna do a bit of cable management in this. I think just for shits and giggles I'm gonna go for the um sort of fluorescent greeny ones. Now what I want to do just try and fold this, roll this cable up a bit so there's not so much of it flailing about. Gonna need a pair of snips, aren't I? Okay. Our first bit of cable management. Yay! Oh, I forgot. Want that one, do I? And I'm going to take the power supply out because we don't want that one. What is the one I'm going to put in? That's a 400 watt, that's a 420 watt, so yeah, there's not a lot between them. <laughs> I'm doing the wrong screws. <laughs> that's the screw I want to undo. I can't be asked to get them off the worktop. I'm going to put that screw back in there. Oopsie daisy. Right. Oh, that's what I bought today. I um, was in Lidl's two days ago. Typically when I didn't have any bloody money. And they had a little sandblasting gum that um, connects onto an air compressor that's got like a little 
cloth bag thing underneath it that you fill with the sandblasting media and then you can um, sandblast something freehand is the basic idea behind it. Uh, the only problem is that method wastes the media because it's not in a um, shot blasting cabinet so the media is not getting recycled but for doing the little things that I do or want to do and for the price of $8.99 with two bottles of um, I think it's aluminium gran granules or something with that one get at the moment. Um, I thought why not? I can't remember what that cable's for. Um, because I've got some bike parts. I think the biggest thing I'm ever gonna sandblast is a bike frame. Um, and I don't think the media is actually that much anyway price wise could be wrong I suppose um, that also depends what media I get but uh, yeah Oops. so I bought myself one for that price on that, and it was the last one on the shelf as well so that was lucky so that Philip is it Philips yeah I think it's a Phillips that I was restoring beginning of summer. I got as far as taking apart. Um, mainly because if I hadn't gone and got this sandblasting gun, I'd have had to have prepped the frame all by hand. Or with an electric drill or with a wire brush attachment or something like that. Would have been more work. That's one reason I've been putting it off. Um, so when I saw this I thought I've got to have it and I'm hope to God that it's there when I go in today, Wednesday and it was so I don't know if I'll use it over winter because to be honest actually I just suppose I could because I could get everything prepared for painting when the weather's better so, yeah, I probably will get the frame and everything prepared. I've got another mountain bike frame, a vintage rally mountain bike, that I want to do as well. Um, so I can do both of those, actually, can't I? I've experimented with this um, chrome, chrome paint. It's not exactly like you know a proper chrome finish but it's close um, it's not bad looking actually I wouldn't say it's even close that's a that's an outright lie <laughs> um, but it's not that far off in all honesty so no that is actually still a lie it looks good. That's the what uh, the words I'm looking for. It's not brilliant, but it looks good. Right. What if I take that and put a bloody cable tie around it? But uh, I think I've worked out. I must have at least twenty bikes if I count the two frames at the moment that I've got to work on. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, me thinking I haven't got any of these um, SART, Molex to SATA adapters and there's one here. Let's just take that off for a moment. Because like I said I only need two anyway so I don't need that one Not for this build. Let's get Anyway, what was that? Cyan, oh yeah. Don't tell me. That's going to go that way in, has it? Yep. It's going to go in. Technically, 
the upside down. And how about that? The screwdriver actually managed to pick a screw up properly without me even trying. Yeah, it's, it doesn't look too bad to finish. From a distance it would look like chrome, you wouldn't know the difference, but up close you'd notice the difference. But like I said, if you just want a similar effect, just to tidy something up, it's perfectly adequate for that. Um, but as far as this old Phillips goes, I'm not sure if I want to, you know, use that stuff to go for the chrome finish, or if I'm going to go like they used to be, and actually, or how some of them were, and actually just paint the handlebars flat black and not have chrome on it, just go for the flat black look. Which I have to say is what I'm leaning towards, to be honest. Because I actually like that. I did want it to be a, a semi sort of custom build anyway. So the frame itself might actually go red. <clears throat> and I think with flat black handlebars, chain guard and everything, it would actually look pretty nice. Especially if I can find a decent set of uh, chrome wheels to go in it. Right, cables. Let's, well, I've got a floppy drive cable here, so for shits and giggles, we'll connect that, <laughs> just because it's here and installed. So there we go, we have a floppy drive installed. I haven't figured out how to go about cable management yet. I've got this thing here, that's... Uh, card reader isn't it? So let's put a go on there. Pretty certain this does not have front audio. I'm pretty certain that I've actually forgotten how to open the front panel. Ah, there we go. Uh, no, no front audio on this. Got a little hole where it can go, but it's not on the case. I've been at this build nearly an hour, believe it or not. Right, that's for the front USB. I may not actually hook those up because I don't think I've got any real use for front USBs on this. I'm just going to need the um, front panel. Gump connected, aren't I? Uh, if I can remember, <laughs> should have took a photo of it, shouldn't I? Oh, I'll do that bit off camera, I think. I'm just gonna get the hard drives in. Hey, come back here. Yeah, unfortunately, this fan is hardwired, and so is the bottom one. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to reroute that wire, just going over that and just getting in the way. I don't know why I was a dickhead and did it that way, but never mind. bits and bobs coming for the bathroom as well. I've got a cabinet, a mirror and a glass shelf because I actually liked it. Uh, Mum was after about a, a year and a half something like that Mum's actually redecorated her bathroom and uh, I went and <laughs> that's just done that hard drive a lot of good isn't it? I went and uh, half inched what she didn't want Well, if I hadn't, it would have just gone down the tip anyway. 
and I wouldn't mind putting a cabinet in my bathroom. I've no idea where I'm going to put the cabinet. I don't have much in the way of wall to screw it to. In fact, I could take the mirror down that's currently in the bathroom and put up the cupboard in its place and just put the mirror, the new mirror, elsewhere. That's a possibility. I think I might have to do that because it won't go on the wall opposite. The gap's not big enough. Would have been if Victory hadn't put a bathtub in the bathroom when they did all the um, refurbishing. I could have actually. <laughs> Would have had loads of room. But uh, I don't know if they were upgrading their bathrooms to have a bath because there wasn't one in there originally when I moved in. Which I have to say was perfectly adequate for me. But like I said, at that time they were um, refurbishing bathrooms and kitchens. So I'm going back 10 years now. And. Uh, that's what they decided they wanted to do. They wanted to upgrade the bathrooms in here to have a bath. And the only option we had as a tenant was um, whether we wanted a shower over the bath or not. So I opted for the shower because I like, well, actually like both options to be honest. Um, it's nice to have a shower once in a while. wire as well. Really it needs to be tucked down the back there, doesn't it? So this all comes up the... I don't think I get much hand room if I take the other panel off. I will worry about that in a minute. Right. That's that one. That's the 12 volt connector. So that's going to go in this top corner. That's reasonably out of the way. I'm not too worried. I was just plugging it in the wrong way. I thought the notch was on the side. It wasn't actually on. <laughs> um, it looked like it from my angle that the notch was on the other side. That's why I was uh, fiddling around with that. The main power connectors are into the motherboard. That one can go across. I'm going to unplug that because <clears throat> what that goes to doesn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does, idiot. I just realised what that's for. That's for the um, fan control. That part on the front panel does actually work. I thought that went to the display. The display doesn't work. I've tried everything to get that to work and no joy. So, I'm not sure what it is. It's an LCD display. I think it tells you temperature and whatnot. The inside case temperature. Right, what have we got? That's got floppy disk connector on it as well, which is good because I've got a floppy disk drive down here. It's gotta go. Way up. And just for shits and giggles as I've got it connected, right together. Do it connected. And while I'm at it, let's get the ROM drives connected. The CD ROM drives or DVD drives or whatever I fit to this. 
knowing me, they're most likely DVD drives. Right, so that is all connector located, and these cables will actually tuck in there out of the way. That's right then. Right, so SATA power canables, fridge and hella canables. I just love it when your mind is actually thinking of two words at the same time, so they just basically come out together, which is what just happened because I was thinking of cables and connectors at the same time. So, so my math just blurred both out. It's a canable. What are they doing on a laptop? Right, so I just need to find another one of these, which should be in a tub up there. Right, which is number one? Oh, well, that's handy, it doesn't say. Oh, yes, it does. Right, main drive can sit on number one. This cable's a bit long, but who cares? I don't worry too much about cable management because I can't see inside this case. But it's just nice to have something there so if I have to service it I can actually uh, see what I'm doing. All these SAT cables, and you know what, a lot of them are just shit, to be honest. Cheap, nasty ones that came with OEM computers that I've just salvaged for some unknown reason. So, if I actually connect up the front panel, it would be good to go, but I'm not going to do that in this video because it's going to be going on for too long. Alright. So, what I am going to do is just see. I might just cable tie this to there, actually. Just to make sure this stays out of the way of that fan. For uh, shit. For maximum airflow. And any cables I don't need, I'm going to try and tuck it up somewhere. Like this big black one that's traipsing through the middle there, but. That's right, I've got a spare mower next time. Mm -hmm. So I was just debating whether to put these up there so they're on the same controller or... I don't know what to do. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll put them on that one. If I change my mind, I can just move the plug up there, can't I? It's no big deal. Right, let's just get this panel off. I don't think I've ever had this panel off this case. Not from this side, anyway. Quite a minimalistic motherboard. We don't have a um, serial connector on this motherboard. We do have SATA, that's good. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me, what? The bottom has spoken. Well, that was pointless effort because there isn't actually a space on this side to um, hide any cables. I thought there was. Looking from that side, but um, no. There we go. Still fluff flying around. Yeah, I'll power this up in another video. What I'll do, I'll sort some drivers out for a video card and whatnot, and we can install that. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with audio, because everything works on this anyway. Because I've literally just 
transferred the guts from one machine to another. Uh, I wonder if I can root that. Something like that. Actually, just still here. It is. Mm, might need one a bit bigger than that, actually. Oh, no, I might get away with it. Let's just disconnect this. Yeah, I'm going to need one a smidge bigger. Boom, 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 boom. One will do. Alright. Now what I want to do... Get that side of the bar. Why with the black tracer on is ground. That's alright, I would have been right because I was about to put it in the ground one up here anyway. But I thought I'd just bear check it. I think with PC fans though, they don't spin backwards if you wire them backwards, they just don't work. because they go to the same board. Where me snips? Oh, yeah, I forgot to snip this one as well. Pink. And this one. All right. A bit of cable tidying, I think, because this case has been needing it for a while. And I might call it quits for this video. I don't think of much else I want to chat about. No doubt I will when I turn the camera off, because I always do. Oh yeah, that's it. I've got some soldering projects as well. But uh, in a little while, and as long as I don't forget, um, I'm going to order... I can borrow my stepdad's because he doesn't uh, use it. But I will order myself at least one solder sucker as well because my one exploded one day. I was using it, using it fine. <laughs> um, but because the tube get f gets full of solder, because obviously the solder sucker does what it says, it sucks off the board, you're supposed to just pump it a few times, pump, you know, click and release, click and release. To empty it out, well, some solder jammed up inside the pump and just shot the end straight out of my solder sucker and ruined all the threads as well as launching the spring. I don't I don't think I've even found it. <laughs> so that's the end of that solder sucker. It's just as well they're uh, pretty damn cheap on eBay, isn't it? I think you can get them for less than three quid. Free delivery as well. Right. I think... I think that will do for now. I'm not going to put the side panel on because, like I said, there's a video card to go into this. So, the next video on this will be... me um, installing video card after we find out if it still works. It should still boot because like I said I literally just took the hard drive and motherboard from that other case that was working and put it into this. Change the power supply for like I said there's not a great deal of difference in it. That's a 420 watt one that was in here. Uh, I've put the 400 in just because the 420 didn't have enough SATA connectors. 
But then again, I've just realised, if I'd known that was on there, before I'd taken it out and put this one in, I could have uh, used that. <laughs> Never mind. It's not actually a bad thing because I don't like using too many adapters and things in a computer. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I must forget that I've still got the uh, power switches and LEDs and things to connect up. And I have just noticed this fan that I've put on here is not on there straight, but never mind. It's actually on there. I've actually got a heat sink somewhere where the fan from the factory is not mounted straight. That is how it's meant to be. That's how it's meant to be straight, but it's covering 99.9% .9 of that heat sink, so that's good enough. It's had fresh thermal put on it. It wasn't that bad. It was a bit dry, but it wasn't really that bad. But again, because I had to take it all apart to clean it, while I'm there, I might as well put a fresh dob on it. I think, as I'm getting low and I need some more, I'm going to buy something a bit better than that crap because, to be honest, it isn't good and it doesn't last. So, I wouldn't actually recommend getting the cheap crap like I bought, you know, the two or three quid tube ones, or the two large syringe fulls like I get, or like I got here, for, um, that must have been like three quid for the pair. But it's not brilliant, only, well, I say it doesn't last long. I would probably say about three years. I suppose it's not bad having to redo it every three years still, is it? But, uh, yeah, I still, I, I just don't like it anyway. Maybe on an old build like this it's perfectly fine, but if I was building a, a modern PC like the one in the lounge and I would use something better. I would use, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, I've forgotten the name of it anyway. There is a decent brand out there that a lot of people use. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I know I keep disappearing off camera but the main focus is this, of this video anyway. So, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.